magnetic and non-magnetic materials. You must have heard the story about the stick of a shepherd, Magnus, which led to the discovery of magnets. The stick had iron attached to it. Let us use it in a different way by replacing the iron with a magnet. For this, attach a magnet at the end of a hockey stick or a walking stick. After this, go out for a walk and see what all does the stick pick up from the ground. We find that all objects picked up by the stick are made of iron. Now, collect various objects of day-to-day -day use from your surroundings, such as an iron ball, a plastic scale, a shoe, a safety pin, a piece of wood and a small earthen pot. Take a magnet and touch each of these objects individually. We observe that an iron ball and a safety pin get attracted to the magnet, whereas plastic scale, shoe, wood piece and earthen pot do not. Here also, the objects attracted towards the magnet are made up of iron. Sam remembers that many a times he has to help his grandma in looking for the stitching needle which slips out from her hand. Now he has learned that he can use a magnet to help her. From these two activities, it can be seen that a magnet only attracts certain materials. The materials which get attracted towards a magnet are said to be magnetic. For example, iron, nickel, or cobalt. Whereas, the materials which are not attracted towards a magnet are said to be non-magnetic. For example, plastic, rubber, wood, etc. Now, let us perform an interesting activity. For this, rub a magnet in the sand or soil. Pull out the magnet. You will find some particles of sand or soil stuck to the magnet. Then, gently shake the magnet to remove the particles of sand or soil. If some particles remain stuck to the magnet, then these are small pieces of iron called iron filings picked up from the sand or the soil. Through this activity, we can find out whether soil or sand from a given place contains particles of iron or not.